Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on maximum ORR greatest element and minimum ORR least element in discrete mathematics. It is one of the most important concept. Please uh, follow very carefully. In the previous videos, we are already discussed about what is maximal element and what is minimal element with uh, 15 examples. If anybody want, please uh, refer previous videos once. Okay. Now, in this video, we have to discuss about what is maximum element or a greatest element. Okay. So, let us consider uh, A comma less than or equal to. So, BA poset. Okay. Here, A is a finite set. It contains finite number of elements. On that finite set, we have to perform A, we have to define A relation that is less than or equal to. Okay. It satisfies three properties. One is reflexive and second one is anti-symmetric and third one is uh, transitive. Okay. If any relation satisfies these three properties on a finite set, hence we can say that A comma less than or equal to B A for set. Okay. Now, I am taking one element small a. It belongs to capital A. Here, element small a is called as maximum element is called as maximum element who are our greatest element if and only if it satisfies two conditions the first condition is it is max it is maximal element it is maximal element and second one is every element in the poset is related to it Every element in the post set is related to it. Every element in the post set is related to it. So, whenever element A satisfies these two conditions, hence we can say that small a is called as a maximum element or a greatest element. Okay. So, First condition is if it is a maximal element. Second one is every element in the post set is related to it. Whenever an element in capital A satisfies these two conditions, hence we can say that small a is called as a maximum element or a greatest element. Okay. Now, observe this uh, diagram. So, find out the maximal element and maximum element in this uh, diagrams. Okay. First, consider uh, this poset or a Hussey diagram. In this Hussey diagram, what is maximal element? Okay. An element is called as maximal element, comma, no element is related to it. Okay. Here, element D is not related to C. Element D is not related to B. Element D is not related to A. Okay. But A is related with B. B is related with C. C is related with D. Okay. In downward direction, in the Hussey diagram, the relation is not uh, satisfiable. Okay. So, D is not related with C. C is not related with B. B is not related with A. D is not related with B. D is not related with A. Hence, we can say that D is called as a maximal element. D is called as a maximal element. And we can say that element D does not have an immediate successor in upward direction. Hence, we can say that element D can also be called as a maximal element. Okay. Next one. What is maximum element? Here, element D is a maximal element. Okay. When we can say that this maximal element is 
called as maximum ORR greatest element. Every element in the post set is related to it. Here, C is related to D. Yes. B is related to D. Yes. A is related to D. So, all the remaining elements in the post set is related to the maximal element D. Hence, we can say that D is also called as a maximum element. Okay. Now, consider the second diagram. Okay. In this diagram, what are the maximal element? Here, C is not related with B. D is not related with B. C is not related with A. D is not related with A. Okay. Hence, we can say that maximal elements are C and D. Okay. In other way, we can say that element C does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. And element D does not have any immediate successors in upward direction. Hence, we can say that so maximal elements are C and D. Next one. Among the C and D elements, what is the maximum element? Okay. So, every element in the post set is related to it. Hence, we can say that uh, C and D are maximal element. Otherwise, uh, we, we can say that C and D are not maximal element. We have to check. B is related with C. Suppose we are considering element C. B is related with C. Yes. A is related with C via the transitive property A relation with B, B relation with C. According to the transitive property, A is related with C. But D is not related with C when we are considering only C. Hence, we can say that C is not a maximum element. Okay. Now, consider element D. Okay. So, B is related with D. Yes. A is related with D according to the transitive property. If A is relation with B, B is relation with D, A is also relation with D. So, B is related with D, A is related with D according to the transitive property. But C is not related with D. Hence, we can say that C is not a maximum element. So, both C and D are not a maximum element or a greatest element. Hence, we can say that maximum element does not exist for this Hussey diagram. Okay. Because C is not related with D, D is not related with C. Okay. But B is related with C, A is related with C. Okay. So, because of that reason, okay, maximum element does not exist for this diagram. Okay. Now, consider uh, C. Okay. Here, uh, A is related. Here, one more vertex is there. That is E. Okay. So, A is related with E. E is related with B. A is also related with D. Okay. Next one. B is related with E. E is related with C. According to the transitive property, B is also related with C. But C is not related with E. C is not related with B. C is not related with A. Okay. D is not related with E. D is not related with A. D is not related with B. And element C does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. And element D does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Hence, we can say that maximal elements are C, D. Maximal elements are C, D. So, among the C, D, which one is the maximum element? Uh, or a greatest element. First, I am considering element C. Okay. E is related with C. Yes. B is related with E. E is related with C. According to the transitive property, B also related with C. Next one. E is related with, A is related with E. E is related with C. According to the transitive property, A is also related with C. But D is not related with C. Okay. 
Hence, we can say that C is not a maximal element. Now, consider element D. Okay. E is, uh, A is related with E. E is related with D. According to the transitive property, A is also related with D. Okay. B is related with E. E is related with D. According to the transitive property, B is also related with D. But, uh, C is not related with D. Hence, we can say that D is not a maximum element. Both C and D are not a maximum element. Hence, we can say that maximum element or our greatest element does not exist for this Hussey diagram. Next, consider uh, this diagram. Okay, in this diagram, okay. Uh, first of all, uh, the maximal elements are 5 and 6 because element 5 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Element 6 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Okay. And also, 5 is not related with 2, 5 is not related with 4, 5 is not related with 3, 5 is not related with 1. Hence, we can say that 5 is the maximal element. Okay. Next one. 6 is not related with 3. 6 is not related with 4. 6 is not related with 5. 6 is not related with 1. 6 is not related with 2. Or up, element 6 does not have any immediate successor. Hence, we can say that 6 is also a maximal element. Okay, next one. Among the two maximal elements, which is the maximum or our greatest element? Okay, first I am considering 5. Okay, every element in the post set is related to element 5. We have to check. 2 is related with 5. Okay, 1 is related with 5 according to the transitive property. 1 is related with 2. 2 is related with 5 then 1 is also related with 5. Okay. So, 5 is related with 4. Okay. Uh, 1 is related with 5. Okay. By satisfying 1 is related with 4, 4 is related with 5. Then 1 is also related with 5. Okay. Next one. Uh, element 3 is not related with the element 5. Okay. Hence, we can say that 5 is not a maximal element. Okay. And 6 is not related with 5. Hence, we can say that 5 is not a maximum element. Next one. Now, consider element 6. 3 is related with 6. 1 is related with 3. 3 is related with 6. 1 is also related with 6 according to the transitive property. Next, 1 is related with 4. 4 is related with 6. 1 is also related with 6 according to the transitive property. But, uh, 2 is not related with 6. Hence, we can say that 6 is not a maximum element. 5 is not related with 6. We can say that 6 is not a maximum element. Hence, we can say that maximum element for that poset is not existed. Okay. Next one. Consider uh, diagram E. Hussey diagram E. Here, what is the maximal element? Here, 5 is the maximal element. 5 is the maximal element. Because element 5 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Next, element 5 is not related with any uh, remaining elements in the four side. 5 is not related with 4. 5 is not related with 3. 5 is not related with 2. 5 is not related with 1. Okay. In Hussey diagram, downward directions are not possible. Okay. Because of that reason, element 5 does not have related with any other element. Hence, we can say that 5 is the maximal, maximal element. Okay. Next one is, uh, every element is related to 5 or not. Yes, 4 is related with 5. True. 3 is related with 5. True. 1 is related with 3. 3 is related with 5. According to the transitive property, 1 is also related with 5. 
2 is related with 4, 4 is related with 5, 2 is also related with 5. Okay, so 5 is a maximal element. Every element in the poset is related to the maximal element. Hence, we can say that maximum element is also 5. Okay, next, consider this diagram here. Uh, what is the maximal element in that Hussey diagram? So, that is the element 6. Element 6 does not have any immediate successor in upward direction. Hence, we can say that 6 is a maximum element. We can also say that 6 is not related with any other element in the poset. Hence, we can say that 6 is a maximal element. Because 6 is not related with 2, 6 is not related with 3, 6 is not related with 1. Hence, we can say that 6 is a maximal element. Now, if it is a maximal element, every element in the poset is related to it. We have to check. 2 is related with 6. 3 is related with 6. 1 is also related with 6. According to the transitive property, 1 is related with 2. 2 is related with 6. 1 is also related with 6. 1 is related with 3. 3 is also related with 6. According to the transitive property, 1 is also related with 6. Hence, we can say that the maximum element is also 6. Okay. So,